wasn't for the railway at the bottom, it would be as though the foot of man had never been there, wouldn't it? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deps Unique. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be printing up our own uh, CDs. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a few supplies I need to run through before we get started into actually manufacturing our CDs. A uh, little thing about CDs, CDs don't really sell much anymore these days, so I usually use them for promotion. It's a nice little thing. They're not super expensive once you got all the materials. It's not super expensive to um, manufacture, so I like to hand these out to uh, people, get the word out about my new album or what have you. Uh, this album that uh, I'm going to be releasing on uh, Bandcamp soon is called The Layup. Uh, it's a beat CD. I usually do rap CDs, but uh, this one's just beats. Uh, I sample a lot of uh, poetry and speeches and books, audiobooks and stuff like that. So there's a, it's it's a, a kind of a genre that I sort of in, invented my, myself. Uh, it's loosely based on hip hop, but um, I, I take famous poems or books and uh, sample them, and then I create beats over those. Uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, Talk about how we uh, make up some CDs. So the first thing you need, of course, are CDs. Um, I get these Plex Disc. Uh, they come hundred a pack. They're less than twenty bucks. So for a hundred, you get, or for less than twenty dollars, you get a hundred CDs. Uh, you can get these on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, they're re CD recordable. I get the, uh, the shiny top. I think they look the most elegant, uh, when you're, uh, making your own CDs. Um, next you'll need, I use, uh, Posca, Uni Posca paint pens. I use them in, in graffiti, but I also use them to mark up my CDs. Uh, you can also get a stamp. And get some permanent uh, ink if you don't have good handwriting. Um, this is based on uh, hip hop, so I I do a lot of graffiti writing on my CDs, and I find that the the Posca pens, especially black, looks really opaque on the CDs. Otherwise, you can get your traditional uh, Sharpie, works just as well. I just prefer the the Poscas. It's personal personal preference. Uh, next, you'll need a. Uh, if you, I assume you you have a, a, a computer, um, most computers, modern computers these days, don't have CD drives, and they don't have a way to burn your own CDs. So uh, you can pick up uh, an external uh, CD burner, DVD. Some of them do DVDs as well. Less than twenty dollars. Well, some of them are a little more expensive, but for thirty dollars or less you can pick yourself up a external CD burner um, next you're gonna need I use you can use the old school plastic jewel cases and do it the different way but I found this is the most cost effective I use these uh, these Val these uh, Val box uh, CD and DVD sleeves they're craft paper they work great and for what we're doing today, um, I find that they're going to suit you the best. They have a little flap on them that you can... Uh, but what we do is I, I uh, print, print out my my artwork and I put print it out on uh, shipping labels, the full 8.5 by 11 shipping labels. I'll show you those in a second. And I, I print them out on those and then I adhere them to these, cut them out. Um, I use the Avery uh, shipping labels, number 5353 uh, five, five, Avery uh, copier. They're full sheets. They work great. Um, this one has 100 labels per package. I don't recall the cost, but you can get smaller packages for relatively cheap. And um, Yeah, so I, I uh, use those. And then you're going to want some scissors to cut out your artwork. Let me get some artwork here. Here's some artwork I've already printed out. Um, 
I've tried to do smaller ones, but because of the printer I use, it's only I can only get two per sheet. Um, you might, if you made them a little smaller, might be able to get four per sheet. If you don't have a printer, you can uh, take these in to your local Staples or Office Depot or printing shop FedEx, uh, and they'll print them up for you for relatively cheap. I luckily have a printer, so the, all I have to do is pay for the ink, and the ink's not too expensive, um, justifying Staples or other printing uh, places. So get yourself some of those. And I think that wraps it up for the supplies we'll need. Um, we're going to head over to my desk and we're going to see how I manufacture my own CDs to self-promote. Check at the desk. Okay, we're at my desk here. I got my printed up. What you're going to need here is your printed up uh, Avery labels. Um, like I said, two to a to do a sheet um, and then you're just gonna cut it out pretty straightforward just take your time with it uh, I sometimes use a uh, excuse me I'm taking concentrating here uh, sometimes use a uh, paper cutter um, but I find that scissors work just as fine as DIY. People don't expect it to be perfect. A little character to your to your design never hurts. So once we get this cut out, we'll move on to. Pasting these up onto the. There we go. There's that. And then, uh, like I said, these little craft paper. Got the flap there. What you want to do is uh, they got come perforated, so you gotta. You can take these. The backing off easy. Um, it's pretty easy and it's shipping labels so they're not easily damaged make sure you've got the flap up top and they're pretty straightforward here you just uh, kind of line it up start at the bottom and work your way up and it's that simple. You've got a CD cover just like that. Next, um, you're gonna take your CD, burn CD. Make sure it's on the right. See, both of these sides are reflective. There's the burn side. In order to keep, my hands get greasy, so I put a little, this one's a CD cover from a Mad Lib, the medicine show, but um, I use that so I don't get fingerprints or oil on it. And then I just use, see how opaque that is? And then sign the artist's name. and let that dry before you put it away. And what you would do is just open it up once it's dry and you put it in there and seal it up. Um, another thing you can do is also print out, like say you got your track list or about the artist, or you can put that on the back. Um, I find it's just more uh, appealing just to do the front, but that's up to you. Um, 
So yeah, that's basically how easy it is. You just, through production, you can print up 100 of these in a couple hours. Um, and you have some merch to sell at your shows or give away at your shows or market yourself. Uh, hit the streets with these and pass them out to people who are interested in hip hop or whatever genre of music you, you create. Um, yeah, so stay, stay tuned for the outro. Thanks for watching. Uh, Depth's Unique. See you in the outro. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, CDs don't sell much these days unless you're a true fan or, you know, old school like me who collects, still collects and listens to CDs. It's my preferred listening device in my vehicle. Uh, but they're good for promotion, really good for promotion. Uh, people like a physical piece of uh, tangible good. So, uh, yeah, you could staple your business card to them and pass them out for promotion or it's another form of marketing. So keep that in mind when you're making these and trying to market yourself. Uh, hand them out, hit the streets, go to the mall or downtown city area and just ask people, you know, you like this kind of genre, hand them a CD and they'll be like, wow, oh, cool. Uh, in the old days, we used to sell them out of our backpacks and out of the trunks of our cars, but unfortunately, that those days are are gone. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, look for my latest beat tape slash poetry slash audio book. I call them bookish beats because I use a lot of uh, book audio books to uh, sample from. So look for that on Bandcamp in the coming weeks uh, if you're. Just checking out the video. It's probably not uh, out yet, but in the near future it'll be there. Uh, Bandcamp slash Bandcamp.com slash Depths Unique. Uh, you can check out some of my other music up on there. You can also check out some of my other stuff on Spotify. Depths Unique is the artist's name. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there, hustle. Get your name out there. CDs are uh, another way to do that. So anyways, thanks for checking out the video. We'll check in next week where we'll get more hip-hop how-to. For now, it's Depths Unique. Signing out. Cheers. Tell to start the vehicle at Jefferson Central in the area. Go ahead, Jefferson. 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 Go ahead, Jef